Hi, I'm Mimi Gonzalez, and you're watching Out at the Center. Hit, hit, hit. Author Martin Duberman sat down to speak with Sarah Schulman on the publication of Radical Acts, a collection of four of his politically charged plays. Here is some of their conversation. Well, this is just an incredible honor, and we're just so very grateful to you, Marty. And it's so wonderful to have this opportunity. So we're here to celebrate his new book, which is published by the New Press, Radical Acts. So how do we get to your first play, which is in this book, uh, In White America, which is 1963, right? How did you get from being a, a wannabe actor to actually getting a play produced? Let's do the story of being black in white America. And nobody liked it. What a surprise. Yeah, what a surprise. Right. Uh, first, I had to get on a soapbox with my agent. She reluctantly agreed, and then with the producer, also very reluctant. And I put it together in seven weeks, and it opened seven weeks after that. But what's interesting is that you continue to work with radical subject matter for your whole life as a playwright, and particularly with, with revolutionary individuals. That seems to be you know, your main focus. Right. So the next play in the anthology is about Emma Goldman. Well, the feminism is really articulated in that play, and equally uh, front, front in the play is her commitment to sexual liberation. And I was wondering if that was code for you or that was a way to express your feelings about your gay identity, as that's why you were attracted to that part of Emma. The very first version of that play, and there have been dozens, was uh, in the early 70s. Just as I was emerging from trying to get cured in psychoanalysis, and I, was, I instantly moved from, from the therapist's office into a GLF meeting. My, my political awareness uh, may well have been what first attracted me to Emma. Well, I want to move on to your play about Newton Arvin. He was Truman Capote's boyfriend at one point, friends with Carson McCullers, and a professor at Smith, and he got caught getting um, physique magazines in the mail and was forced to resign from Smith College. And Marty's play, which is called Posing Naked, is about Newton Arvin. At this point, you'd been in the Academy a long time. And you chose to write a play about a gay academic who, because of the hypocrisy of the Academy, is driven insane and hospitalized and loses his career. Were you having struggles in the Academy at that time that drew you to that subject matter? My struggle initially was not around the issue of homosexuality. Uh, it was about the issue we talked about earlier, uh, wanting to do my courses in an experimental way. So I decided I was going to resign from Princeton. I had tenure. Uh, and, uh, but I, I also decided I wasn't going out without a bang. So your final play, Visions of Kerouac, which is a takeoff on Visions of Cody, which is my favorite Kerouac novel. And of course, there's a very homo subtext to the whole Kerouac scene, even though Ginsburg was the only out gay man. And of course, there was a, a homosexual panic murder by Lucien Carr in that whole community. But they have an endless fascination for gay men. Uh, it's kind of the, the rough trade, Marlon Brando, Thing and the hypermasculinity of Jack Kerouac. And what was it like to write a play about writers? So you have to write the words of the, that the writers speak. That's a tough assignment. Well, what I, what I did was, uh, and uh, I say all this in the introduction because I don't want people to think that every line in that play is, uh, comes from Duberman. Uh, I got permission from that same Sterling Lord agency who then represented, as you said, Kerouac. Uh, I got permission to uh, a limited number of quotations from every one of his books. The combined words of Kerouac and me, because often, you know, I added stuff. So a line from him would be mixed with a line from me. I want to be sure you have time to buy Marty's book, and he'll sign it for you. And thank you, Marty. And that's all for this excerpt from Out at the Center. 
If you want to see the full show, check it out on our website at gaycenter.org slash out. Until next time, I'm Mimi Gonzalez. Goodbye.